I think we're in our 10th or 15th year of celebrating that worldwide. It's a worldwide event and it's important to the world in a sense because you know wetlands store like one third of the world's carbon, a lot of diversity and uh, we're just now finding out the real value whereas a hundred years ago they would be drained but now we're finding out they have all of these values and services that we never thought about. So here at Duke in the Wetland Center we've been celebrating this for almost two decades and it's a kind of a fun thing to do. I mean they do it at every almost every um, major wetlands organization in the world and uh, we have a whole series of those organizations that are dedicated Ramsar for example uh, out of Switzerland and then we have the National Wetland Centers and of course centers like uh, the Duke University Wetland Center which was founded 26 years ago. We've restored all the wetlands and streams on campus if you go around the Duke campus, around the Duke Forest, uh, you will see, uh, even in Central Campus, you'll see a series of wetlands along streams. So we've been restoring, and those have been responsible for reducing the nitrogen runoff to the uh, Jordan Reservoir by 64%, 500 tons of sediment being held out. So it helps Duke. Uh, Duke gets uh, nutrient credits for that. It helps the city. So it's sort of our local um, restoration effort. Even though this is February, you'll be surprised at the number of hawks and the number of things that are out there. Um, if you're on the coast, you'd see osprey. But it's uh, an interesting area that in the spring just teems with life.